The Environmental Commissioner of Ontario ECO, French, Commissaire A. L'Environnement de l'Ontario was an officer of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario. The Commissioner did not report to any ministry, but rather to the Legislature itself. The Commissioner had been selected via recommendation by an all-party committee, chaired by the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly. The candidate was then appointed by unanimous vote of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario. Commissioners were appointed by the government, on the advice of the legislature, for a term of five years, and must swear to "...faithfully and impartially exercise the functions of the office," which is to uphold and protect the province's Environmental Bill of Rights The commissioner headed an office of 24 staff, who supported the commissioner in overseeing the administration of the EBR and producing reports to the legislature. The Office of the Environmental Commissioner of Ontario was abolished by the provincial government of Premier Doug Ford in 2019, with responsibilities for the enforcement and administration of the EBR transferred to the Auditor General of Ontario. Topic. Mandate The intent of the EBR is to give Ontarians rights to participate in environmental decision-making, and to hold ministries accountable for their decisions as they affect the environment. The EBR also established the Environmental Registry, an online database where ministries post environmentally significant proposals and decisions for public notice and comment. In 2009, the EBR was amended to give the ECO the responsibility to report annually on Ontario's progress in reducing greenhouse gas emissions and on conserving energy. Topic: <laughs> Commissioners Topic. Reports and publications The ECO issues several reports each year. Topic. Environmental protection reports Every year, the office released an environmental protection report that covers ministry compliance with the Environmental Bill of Rights EBR, and environmental protection issues related to ministries prescribed under the EBR. Up until 2016, this report was simply called the Annual Report, and was accompanied by a supplement. The supplement contained reviews of each application submitted under the EBR, and of ministries' use of the Environmental Registry. The annual report contained articles that elaborated on selected pieces from the supplement, and articles about developing or significant issues of interest to the ECO. Small Steps Forward, Volume 1, http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash environmental dash protection slash 2015 dash 2016 slash eper dash small dash steps dash forward underscore volume 1 dash and dot pdf. Small Steps Forward, Volume 2, http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash environmental dash protection slash 2015 dash 2016 slash eper dash small dash steps dash forward underscore volume 2 dash and dot pdf. Good Choices, Bad Choices, Environmental Rights and Environmental Protection in Ontario 2017 http colon slash 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 reports slash environmental dash protection slash 2017 slash good dash choices dash bad dash choices dot pdf Topic. Greenhouse Gas Progress Reports Since 2008, the ECO has issued annual reports on the Ontario government's progress in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Facing Climate Change, http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash climate dash change slash 2016 slash 2016 dash annual dash ghg dash report dash and dot pdf. Ontario's Climate Act, from plan to progress http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash climate dash change slash 2017 slash from dash plan dash to dash progress dot pdf 
Topic: <laughs> Energy Conservation Progress Reports. Since 2008, the ECO has issued annual reports on activities in Ontario to reduce the use, or make more efficient use, of electricity, natural gas, propane, oil and transportation fuel. These reports are issued in two volumes, the first volume covers the broader policy framework affecting energy conservation in Ontario, and the second describes conservation initiatives underway, assesses energy savings derived from these initiatives, and measures progress on meeting targets. Conservation, Let's Get Serious Annual Energy Conservation Progress Report 2015-2016, http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash energy slash 2015-2016 slash eco underscore conservation underscore let's underscore get underscore serious dot pdf Every Drop Counts, Reducing the Energy and Climate Footprint of Ontario's Water Use 2016-2017, http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash energy slash 2016-2017 slash every dash drop dash counts dot pdf Every Joule Counts, Ontario's Energy Use and Conservation Year in Review 2016-2017, http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash energy slash 2016-2017 slash every dash joule dash counts dot pdf Making Connections, Straight Talk About Electricity in Ontario http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash energy slash 2018 slash making dash connections dot pdf Topic. Special Reports In addition to the above reports, the ECO may make a special report on any matter related to the EBR that, in the opinion of the Commissioner, should not be deferred until the annual report. Developing the 2017 Long-Term Energy Plan, http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash special dash reports slash 2016 slash LTEP dash 2016 dash special dash report dot pdf EBR Performance Checkup, Respect for Ontario Environmental Rights 2015-2016, http colon slash slash docs.assets.eco.on.ca slash reports slash special dash reports slash 2016 slash EBR dash performance dash checkup underscore and dot pdf. Beyond the Blue Box, Ontario's Fresh Start on Waste Diversion and the Circular Economy 2017 http://docs.assets.eco.on.ca//reports//special-reports//2017//beyond-the-blue-box.pdf <laughs>